Hello fellow bears, Gear Bear here, and if it looks like I'm crying, it's because I spent probably like 10 minutes laughing because I couldn't stop laughing about saying hello fellow bears because my wife laughed at me. So I said laugh like three times there. Five times there? Yeah. Anyways, I'm here bringing you this video on Halloween, and you might be thinking, Gary, why are you bringing me a video telling me the best scary books to read on like at 7 p.m. on Halloween day? It's because I know most of you are probably drunk anyways and you're going to be wanting to nurse your hangover tomorrow, which is Sunday. And you can read these comic books. You can run up and go grab these and spend your whole Sunday nursing that hangover. It'll be great. It'll be perfect. Uh, and if you're too young to have a hangover, well, uh, shame on you. You shouldn't have a hangover. So, uh... This is a, my list of top five books that you can read for Halloween. Nice and creepy and full of suspense. And uh, I cheated a little, but hey, whatever. This is my channel. You can do it how you want on your channel. So uh, number five is Morning Glories Volume 1. And the reason why I'm saying Volume 1 is I haven't read volumes anything other than one. And uh, Volume 1 was like really suspenseful, had a lot of supernatural stuff going on and uh, it was definitely I think it definitely fits the quota of creepy um, for those of you who haven't, haven't had a chance to read it it's about these group of kids that go to a boarding school that's for special kids and they start noticing weird coincidences uh, I don't want to spoil anything but yeah it's just it's kind of uh, supernatural weird stuff uh, they're not allowed to leave the boarding school, stuff like that. It's, it's a really cool book. I enjoyed Volume 1 a lot. And I can't wait to read past that. Uh, for number 4 is Uzumaki. Uh, this was a really good one. Uh, it's done in the manga style, so you know you read it from, you know, what to us is backwards. And you read it from right to left rather than left to right. And uh, this book was really creepy. Although I didn't like, uh, you know, more towards the ending of it, it wasn't really my thing. I really enjoyed the beginning of it. It was super eerie, uh, super creepy, but I did not like the ending too much. But I still recommend reading it. Uh, this was a great book. And uh, funny side note, it's the book that almost killed us in our car accident. Because it was in the back, in the hatch. And after the car accident, it was outside the front doors, so... When we came to a stop, it did not, uh, you know, momentum. Number three is a three-way tie. So, yeah, I'm cheating, but I couldn't decide on these three. But I feel like they're kind of similar, because they are all a, uh, they're all kind of like a small town whodunit, somewhat supernatural um, in the case of one of them, fairly supernatural in the case of the others, uh, would be Revival, which I've been reading. Uh, no, Revival is really cool. It's about a town where a few of the dead, the recently deceased, are coming back to life. But it's not your average zombie thriller. This is more, they're coming to life, and they're, for a large part, uh, normal. You know, as normal as you can be when you're recently resurrected. And, uh, but they're, they're just a little off, and that doesn't explain the figure in the woods which is really cool draw of this book. I just recently finished the uh, Deluxe Volume 1 and Deluxe Volume 2 of this, and I can't wait for the next one because it's a really gripping story. And then uh, the next one for the three-way tie is Outcast. And this is the one, if you don't know, this is written by uh, Robert Kirkman of Walking Dead fame. And it is a really interesting book. Uh, about a man who has been plagued by demonic possession his whole life. And uh, when I read that line, I thought he was the one who was possessed like his whole life. But no, it's those around him who are possessed or become possessed. And he finds out that something inside of him, the demons both are afraid of and want at the same time. And uh, he's kind of helping this priest do uh, exorcisms in this small town. But uh, it's a really interesting, it's very dramatic, and it's really creepy in some parts. And then the last one of the three-way tie is Nailbiter. And I didn't think I was going to like this one, but I would have to say this book, you know, it, it's not the creepiest, that's why it's not a number one, but I think it might be one of my favorite comics because uh, 
it is definitely lives up to its name. It's a nail biter. It's very suspenseful. You really, really want to know what's going to happen next. And the creepy parts are very creepy. So uh, that's it for the three-way tie. And then coming in at number two is Severed. I really like this book because, for one, it's a self-contained story. It's not an ongoing. You buy the book, you read it, and you have finished the story. But uh, it's really creepy. Uh, it's about a kid who finds out that his uh, dad lives across the country, and he's trying to go find him, and he runs into basically uh, a traveler who is pretty much pure evil. Really interesting book. Uh, I really enjoyed reading it, and uh, definitely would be a good Halloween read. And number one, this isn't really a surprise, because you guys know how much I love it, is Lock and Key. This book was great. Uh, it really gets somewhat violent, really creepy. Like, the number four book, really some disturbing shit goes down in that one. But, great book series. I mean, you could, you could start the first one and uh, on the morning of Halloween and, and be done with it. You know, all six books would probably take you all day. Or, you know, at least all of a work day. And uh, so, yeah, that's my top five with cheating because I couldn't really pick just five books. But, yeah, give them a chance. I have a link in the description below so you can check out where to pick these up and uh, maybe read a bit more of a detailed synopsis. And uh, you can read what other people review these books, see what you think. And uh, I, I would highly suggest picking them up. Give them a shot. Read them tomorrow while you're feeling incredibly hungover off of way too much alcohol and far too much candy. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have and had a great Halloween. And uh, see you later.